Hello, this is Nancy. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to do another tumbling tower block project. This will be a great gift, quick, easy, um, especially for Christmas time or anybody that likes chess or checkers for their birthday. I'm going to be making 64 sets of three and then separating them in half. So one set is going to be stained with the antique Waverly wax. And the other one's going to be painted with the Waverly Wax and ink. You only have to paint the top because the sides are going to be glued. And once the project is completed at the end, I'm going to do a, a coat of ink at the bottom on all the blocks. Once those are dry, I'm going to dry fit them and make sure that the, the best shape fits in each spot because um, these blocks are not equal in size. So um, once that's done, then I'll start gluing them down. And you're going to have eight rows of eight. I alternated each of the sets of the blocks so the black blocks are going up and down and then the stained ones are going side to side. Once um, that side is dry, I'm going to flip it to the back and start filling in all the gaps with the lightweight spackling from Dollar Tree. And this way, the, the epoxy that we put on top will not um, come through those holes. Once the lightweight spackling is dry, we're going to do a quick sanding, make it nice and smooth. You don't have to use a, a, a cordless sander like I am. 
You can use um, one of those black sanders from Dollar Tree. It'll just take a little longer, but you'll get still the same effect. Not only do I do the DIYs for um, YouTube, I do sell some, most of my items. All you have to do is in, um, DM me on Instagram or send me an email. All my links are down in the description box below. Now we're going to get a half inch square dowel that I got from Home Depot. And we're going to cut them to the sides of the board. And then the, the top and bottom one will be, will be a little longer than, um, than the sides. In the new year, I'm definitely going to get some clamps because this took a little while for, for me to try to get it nice and snug on the board itself. So um, you don't need them, but it, it'll help. Okay, once everything is dry, I'm going to get a baby wipe and just wipe off all the excess dust or whatever that, that could be on the board itself because we're going to start doing the epoxy now. I'm using the amazing clear cast that I got from Michaels. It's a two-part clear casting epoxy or resin. And it's, um, you use it equal parts. And here I am um, leveling it, make sure that when I pour the epoxy, everything is nice and level. I'm using some popsicle sticks to, um, to raise one side. I guess my table's not level. Here I'm adding the wax paper from Dollar Tree under the board just in case any of the epoxy tends to leak out. This is my first checkerboard so I didn't know how much epoxy I needed so I'm just trying to float it to the ends and I had to do two batches of it. I use um, um, those little mixing cups from Dollar Tree, the little bowls, and I did two batches of that. If you're liking this video, give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, comment below what color checkerboard would you make for yourself? And would you add epoxy to yours or just leave it pla um, plain? Either way, it looks nice.
Stay to the end to see the final product. It's hard to take pictures of a reflective surface, but I think it came out beautiful. So till next time, be brave, be strong, and create.